Although they may look like it, these actually aren't basketball shoes. Yo guys, what is good? Zach Ragi back at it again for another episode of Toilet Reviews. And we have a new Wave of Wade model here. So these are the Wade Flash and the Ros Fuego colorway. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this review. So I was almost convinced that these were hoop shoes just based off of the looks and tech in the shoes and the fact that D'Angelo Russell is currently hooping in them, but I couldn't believe it when I found out that they're actually lifestyle shoes. Don't get it twisted though, you can definitely still take these on court and hoop in them, but I find them to be similar to that of the book one because they have the same design intention. So you can take these on or off the court wherever and whenever, but they're kind of opposite from the book one because these just happen to look more like a basketball shoe, at least in my opinion, but were mainly designed for lifestyle casual wear, whereas the book one was mainly designed for basketball, but just happens to look more like a casual lifestyle shoe. But regardless, I think the Wade Flash here is a damn good looking shoe, and this colorway is fire. I just love this multicolor marble look on the massive Flash logo here, because it looks really unique and stands out. Also, these retail for a hundred bucks US or 140 Canadian so it's on the more budget friendly side of things so if you're looking for a shoe that you can hoop in or just wear every day then you might want to consider these. Now the box that the shoes come with is different from the box that the basketball shoes usually have and I think that it's a fair assumption to make that this is the box that most non-basketball products from leaning normally come with. So just like most of the Wave Wade shoes these are equipped with the brand's tough RB rubber compound so it's built to last outdoors and we have this repeated lightning bolt pattern which looks pretty cool and this might be a bit of a stretch here but the outsole pattern here kind of reminds me of the Nike KD4 outsole pattern just because they both feature the lightning bolts but obviously it's not the same thing but thanks to that tough RB rubber compound it does make the outsole rubber feel very sturdy not very pliable at all so that's good news if you do plan on taking these outdoors to hoop in or just wear every day but as far as the indoor court traction is i can't really give you a first impression because i haven't had a chance to hoop in these yet i will be doing a traction test video soon so stay tuned for that but i did kind of wear them around the house a little bit kind of tested them out from there and obviously not the same as an indoor court surface but so far it did feel pretty grippy so i'll leave you guys with that but we'll also notice there's this huge cutout in the outsole right there and peeking out of that we do have a TPU stabilizer so that's going to give the shoes some nice torsional rigidity and support as well so if you do plan on hooping in these just know that the shoes do come with some nice supportive features alongside a nice heel counter right here as well. Now when it comes to cushioning, we have Li Ning's Cloud Plus Foam and it does run full length throughout the shoe. And this foam is great guys, but not as good as Boom for sure. Although I still do find them to be pretty comfortable on foot from a casual perspective, the Cloud Plus Foam isn't too plush, but also isn't too firm at the same time. So you're getting a nice neutral and stable ride from these. And similar to that of like a New Balance and their foams that they use from a casual perspective. So one thing I really do like about the Cloud Plus Foam is how lightweight it is. It just helps in reducing the overall weight of the shoe, making it feel like you don't have anything on foot, which is great because the materials themselves are also pretty lightweight. But as far as how this cushioning setup is going to perform on court, you'll have to wait for my performance review for that. But the shoes also do come with these standard leaning slash way of weight insoles right here. So they're really nothing too crazy. So it is fully removable, no glue at the bottom here. So if you want to switch the insole out for whatever insole you guys like to use or orthotic, you'll be able to do so pretty easily. Now moving on to materials, we have a screen mesh underlay with some fuse overlays and high wear areas, as well as some synthetic leather overlays on the tongue and collar area. We also do have some minimal detailing with the word flame written on the collar area, as well as a cool reflective logo on the tongue. And the materials are on the cheaper side, being that this is a budget model, so don't expect anything too crazy when you get these in hand. I mean, obviously the synthetic leather helps in making the shoes look a little bit more premium, but when it comes to like the fuse areas, they just don't look and feel as good as 
the fuse that's used on their more expensive models that Waveweight has to offer. But two things that I really do like about the materials is how breathable they are. I mean, this mesh on the toe area right there, as well as the tongue, just you can feel the air coming into the shoes. So that's great if you have some stanky ass feet or you sweat a lot so your dogs can breathe a little bit more. And also another thing I really like is on this part here of the collar, there's this different material and I think that kind of helps in gripping onto your sock a little bit more. So if you are planning on hooping in these, that would sort of help with the lockdown of the shoe. And when it comes to fit and sizing, they do fit true to size, but keep in mind they are narrow, so wide footers might want to go a half size up. But overall guys, for a hundred bucks, you can't go wrong with the weight flash here, whether you're going to take them indoors for basketball wear or outdoors for casual lifestyle wear. So comment down below and let me know what you think about the shoes and if you'd rock them let me know in the comment section down below but we're at that point in the video now it's time for hashtag zakuragi what you rocking so for today i got the wave weight all city 12 here great shoe to hoop in if you haven't seen my performance review for these go check that out on my channel but that is it for today guys i appreciate you guys for watching i'm signing out peace